This is another example where we're trying to test the mean of differences between two populations. It says researchers collected data on the number numbers of hospital admissions resulting from motor vehicle crashes and results are given below on Fridays on the 6th of the month and Fridays on the following 13th of the same month. Use a 0 0.05 significance level to test the claim that when the 13th day of a month falls on a Friday, the numbers of hospital admissions from motor vehicle crashes are not affected. So we're trying to test no matter what Friday it is, the 6th or the 13th, the number of motor vehicle crashes are not, effect, are not affected, meaning that they're the same. So we're trying to test that the mean of the differences is equal to zero. That is our original claim. Okay, so let's go ahead. Let's write out our original claim in symbolic form. So our original claim is that mu sub d is equal to zero. Then what would be true if the original claim was false? Well, then mu sub d would not be equal to zero. So our null hypothesis, remember, includes equals, always going to be the equal to symbol. And then the alternative, we take a look at steps one and two. So one that does not include the equal to symbol. So that would be the not equal to. Mu is not equal to zero. Okay, so notice here that the null hypothesis, this is the original claim itself. And now what we have here is a two-tail test. Since the alternative hypothesis contains the does not equal to symbol, this is a two-tailed test. Okay. So let's go back. Let's put that answer in. Okay. So first it's asking, what are the hypothe hypothesis for this test? It says, let mu sub d be the, mu sub d is the mean of the differences in the numbers of hospital admissions resulting from motor vehicle crashes for the population of all pairs of data. Our null hypothesis mu sub d is equal to zero. Alternative mu sub d is not equal to zero. Okay. Now it's asking us for the test statistic. So let's go ahead and open this information into StatCrunch. Let's do the side by side view. Okay, now we're gonna go to stat. Since we're dealing with population mean, we're going to t-stats, and what we have is paired data. Now let's go ahead and select our columns. Sample 1 will put Friday the 6th. Sample 2, Friday the 13th. We want to perform a hypothesis test. Looks like the null and alternative hypothesis are already correct there. Let's put show critical value, and our significance level is 0 0.05. Okay, so we have our test statistic right over here. So we have negative 3.07, it says three decimal places this time, so negative 3.071. And now it's asking us about the critical values. Now remember, since this is a two-tailed test, we have two critical values. We have a plus and we have a minus. So here's our critical values right over here. So it only gives you the positive value in StatCrunch. Just remember the negative is also a critical value as well. So we have the critical values are t is equal to plus or minus 2.57 and then it's asking for three decimal places so 2.571. Let's go continue. Okay now it's asking us to make a conclusion about the test. Do we reject the null hypothesis, fail to reject it, and then write out our final conclusion? Okay, well since here it's leading us to use the critical value method, let's go ahead and use that method. So let's go back to our whiteboard. <clears throat> we want to see if our test statistic is in the critical region. We want to see if it's in the rejection zone. So remember we had two critical values. We had 2.571. Let me just make sure that was correct. 2.571, mm -hmm. and then the other one is negative, negative 2.571. So this is our rejection zones here. If our test statistic is in those rejection zones, that means that we reject the null hypothesis. So let's go back, let's take a look at our rejection zone. Let's take a look at our test statistic, I should say. Our test statistic is negative 3.071. Negative 3.071 would be about over here. 
So we see that this is in the rejection zone, which tells us that we reject the null hypothesis. So we reject the null hypothesis. Okay. And now since our original claim included equality, so this was our original claim right over here, mu sub g is equal to zero. We rejected that. And since the original claim includes equal to, that means that there is sufficient evidence to warrant rejection of the claim. We are stating that there is a difference between motor vehicle crashes. So let's go back. <clears throat> so we have sufficient evidence to warrant rejection of the claim of no effect. Hospital admissions appear to be effective. Let's see, this other one. Yeah. So our answer choice here is B.